people in zombie movies. Let's just freeze this, shall we? No, we've all seen the reports. We know that. Hey, I said stop that. Get off stage. Now, as I was saying, we've all heard the reports of the inevitable upcoming zombie apocalypse. It's only a matter of time, folks. Now, there. We all know there's no such thing as zombies. They're imaginary, just like Britney Spears. Oh, really? Is that why the government spent $10 million preparing for it? Huh? Seriously? Yep. True fact. And do you think that our federal government would squander hard-earned tax dollars from all these loyal citizens without a very good reason? Wow. You've got a point there. I don't think it's possible that the government would ever waste money. I guess you're right. Hey, where do you get those rat strings? They make them in China. Great. Really good to snack on when you're feeling peckish. Awesome. Now, as I was saying, we are here to present a public service to you, the audience. How to survive when civilization collapses and the animated corpses of your neighbors try to hunt you down and devour your sweet, warm, living flesh. Makes a great gift for Christmas. So, where are all these zombies coming from anyway? Global warming. Makes sense. Method number one, sacrifice the weak. Come on! Once we get to that ridge, we'll have an advantage point. It's no use, we're all gonna die! Oh, snap out of it, Susan! I love you! I just met you! I must warn you, I'd fall in love quickly, and then fall out of love equally quickly. Oh my god. I love you too! It's too late, I've moved on. Come on, people! Wait a minute, who put you in charge? I did. Do you have a problem with that? Uh, no, I was just wondering. Hey, is that girl single now? Focus, people, move it! Come on, Christy. I'm hurt. I can't make it. Just leave me behind. Okay. That's it. Yeah, what? You're just gonna leave me here. Yeah, that's what you told me to do. Well, I obviously didn't mean it. Then why'd you say it? I don't know. I was hoping you would pick me up and carry me. Oh, come on. So you're not gonna pick me up? Christy, listen to me, listen to me carefully. When those zombies come to get you, the fact that you're a good-sized meal is gonna keep them occupied for a while so that the rest of us can get away. We'll remember you fondly. Can I take a walk of your hair to remember you by? I think my leg is feeling better now. I could probably live no, there. No, no, that's fine. No, really, I can walk. I oh, can. that ankle looks real bad. You better take some weight off of that. Sit down, have a drink, wait till the end. I'm not doing that. Come on. Okay, after you. I feel a little sick there. And that's what leadership is all about, making tough choices. Moral of the story, don't twist your ankle. I don't know that Jimmy was a very good leader there. And moving on, method number two, trick the zombies. How do you trick zombies? Behold. They're gaining on us. There's too many of them. Come out in there. I'm frightened. That is a really helpful contribution, Olive. I mean, seriously, when I'm running for my life, it never would have occurred to me to be frightened. That was so perceptive of you to wait with the report in your emotional state like that. Like, wow, really, you're frightened. I was just trying to say something. Okay, well, next time you have the urge to speak, I want you to go through a little checklist, okay? Number one, is what I'm about to say obvious? Number two, does what I have to say contribute to eliminating the global zombie menace? Number three, am I saying this in a unique and clever way? And it's too late. They're here. That wasn't zombies. I'm frightened. Anyone have any good ideas? We're running out of time here. Get, hey, look up behind you. Seriously, you're going with look up behind you? That's what you're going to do? Guys? Guys? I'm frightened. Well, that was clever. Yeah, you think that never actually worked? Because they don't actually have working brains, but you never know. I think we need to fight the zombies. Spoken like a true girl. How can you fight zombies when it's impossible? Method three, overwhelming firepower. Oh yeah, well how are... This is it! This is where we make our stand! <laughs> I'm frightened! No one cares about your little emotional issues, Susan. I can't do it! I'm gonna let them eat me! Get a hold of yourself, Jimmy! Slap me! 
No. Do it! Okay! Thanks! All right, listen up, troops. We only have a few minutes before those zombies cross that ridge, so it's time for me to give an inspirational speech. Can I sit down for this? Go ahead and sit. Sit for yourself, sit for this country, sit for humanity. I want you all to sit for everyone you've ever loved. That girl you love so desperately, but never had the courage to talk to. Oh, hey, Susan, I wanted to talk to you. It can so wait, Jimmy. After the inspirational speech. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, what can I, one person, do against a horde of unstoppable zombies? We've seen them. We know how many there are. A lot. And I mean so many that they can literally stack over themselves to climb up skyscrapers. Now, I don't need to tell you that that is a lot of zombies. And yes, we're likely to die horribly and then rise again from the dead in an endless tidal wave of destruction that sweeps over the entire planet. That's a likely scenario. Hopefully you don't feel too much pain. Probably will. It'll probably be excruciating. Like, when you go to the dentist? Well, it's gonna be a lot worse than that. There's gonna be like a million dentists all poking you at once. And I know what you're thinking. How will the dentist even reach me? Well, let's just say that they're tiny dentists. But their needles will hurt as much as regular sized needles. That's a likely amount of pain we're gonna feel when these zombies tear us limb from limb. Wait, what was I talking about? You were giving an inspirational speech? Oh, right, speech. Hang on. A lot of zombies, pain, tiny dentists, fight them. That's right, we gotta fight them! But how are we gonna do that? There's just four of us! And two of us are girls! <gasps> oh, now it's not the time for sexism, Jimmy! Why do you always have to assume I'm being sexist? Oh, by the way, there was still something I wanted to talk to you Guys! About. This is it! We're all gonna die! Oh, wait! Hang on, I forgot. I just happened to find this stash of experimental weapons from the time we were hiding out in the Pentagon. As far as I'm aware, we've got a couple thermonuclear flash grenades, a fusion rifle, an ion gravity disruptor antimatter cannon, and a baseball bat. Dips on the baseball bat. Swing away, Jimmy. You know, I played a lot of baseball in high school, so I figured that. Hey, how does this ion gravity disruptor antimatter cannon work? Oh, uh, I think you just press that red button. Oh. That was cool! Pretty lucky that we had the stash of experimental weapons no one ever knew about. Yep. Oh, hey, Christy. I wanted to tell you that I have feelings for you. Oh. Wanna go on a date? I'm actually in a relationship right now. With Sam? No. And who with? We're the only survivors left. Yeah, I guess I'm just holding out my hope that we're not the only people left on Earth. And I just want to keep my options open. Right. And, and I don't want to ruin our friendship either. Okay. Oh, I'm not interested in you either. <laughs> well, dang it! Now, I know what you're thinking. What if we don't manage to find a secret supply of experimental high-powered weapons the government hasn't been telling us about? What are the odds of that happening? Pretty slim, but still, you just might need another option. Method four, join the zombies. Let's stop here. I can't walk another inch. Oh, suck it up. I am tired of your whining. Do you always have to be so rude? Guys, we're running out of options. I know, but it doesn't have to be so unpleasant all the time. Oh, I'm being unpleasant. You know, I'm not the one who threw away their french fries without asking if anyone else wanted any. But I did ask you if you wanted some. I did. I did want some. And how was I supposed to know that? Body language? Well, maybe you could have considered, since we're all starving to death, that now is not the best time to throw away food. You know what? Ever since this whole apocalypse thing started, you've been really rude. Rude. Rude! Guys, we're losing sight of what's actually important here. At least we still have our health. I would have my health if I had more french fries! They're too fatty anyway. And I think I've got leprosy. What? Isn't that where you, like, turn into a werewolf? No, you're thinking of lycanthropy. Oh. Darn. Oh man! Look! Zombies! Is this all your fault, Sam? My fault? How is this my fault? It's your fault because if you hadn't been arguing with me this whole time, we could have gotten to safety! 
Are you sure you wouldn't have gotten to safety and then closed the door on me? It would have been worth it to stop you from talking. Ah! Hey, guys, I don't mean to interrupt, but... Oh, I saw you looking at one of my girlfriends. She's not your girlfriend. You don't own her. And besides, you can't have two girlfriends. Yes, I can! No, you can't. They're the only ones left. That's totally unfair. Hey, Susan, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, probably. Well, maybe one of the girls will actually like you. If you always like it. Shop. You're always like this. I get it. You're just jealous because I have better rags than you. Jealous? I'm jealous of you? Yeah. Also, I don't know what you think you're doing with your hair, but trust me, there's a reason rats try to sleep in it at night. Oh, oh, you look, you look like a You thought I was thinking that you had babies. Right. <laughs> Man, what I wouldn't give to have zombies to send on my girlfriend during one of our arguments. You're lying. You're right, I don't have a girlfriend. I will be taking applications after this show, though. Not gonna happen. Remember, ladies, when society breaks down, you're gonna need somebody to help with food preparation. I got two years' experience at Burger King. All I'm saying, think about it. Moving on. Method five. For each genetically modified killer dog, which can attack and destroy zombies. Seriously? It's as good as any. That was a close one. You're telling me. They almost got my knees. I mean, you're surprisingly chipper for having your legs eaten off. Yeah, you know, you surprise yourself a little every day. Like, I could be sit sitting here saying, I wish I had my feet, but wishing isn't getting my feet back. You know, you're actually taking this pretty well, Sam. Thanks. I've been doing a lot of yoga lately. They're gaining on us. Let's get out of here. You want us to leave you here, Sam? No, thanks. Really? I thought you might like to sacrifice yourself for the good of the rest of us. Since, you know, if we'd be carrying you, we'd probably be slowed down to the point where the zombies would catch and eat all of us. But I'd be happy to carry you. Just want you to know, likely resulting all of our demise. Drag away! Christy, a little help? I'd help. But, you know, I'm really selfish. Susan? I just don't feel comfortable touching Sam. What if he gets the wrong idea? Hey, I'm totally over you, Susan. Moved on. Yeah, but if I were to drag you to safety, then you would think there is something going on between us. And that is another headache I really don't want to deal with right now. Looks like it's just you and me, buddy. Yeah. Ow, oh, my back. Ah, oh, you know sometimes you're just, you're twisting around and you throw out your back? Yeah, that just happened to me. Wow. Bad break. Yeah, so... So... Well, it was great being friends with you, Sam. No, I understand. You're, you're cool. Yeah, like I said, yoga. Awesome. Well then, girls, how about... Let's get out of here. Bye, Sam. Ah, the zombies have gotten me! Oh no! Oh no! The zombies have torn off most of my limbs! They ate my hands! Oh, luckily they're leaving me alone for the moment. Oh wait! I was wrong! Oh, oh no! That was my favorite hand! No! no. <laughs> yes! I'm still alive! Oh wait. No, 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 I'm dead. Huh, well, it's a good thing I still have my pack of genetically modified killer dogs, which can attack and destroy zombies. It's too bad my friends didn't stick around long enough to benefit from their bone-crushing jaws, disease-resistant fur, and the adorable little puppy eyes all. Woody, Buzz, six zombies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was realistic. Remember out there, it's never too early to begin training your chihuahuas. Which brings us to method six, Kung Fu. I don't really think that's gonna work. Oh, it'll work. It's Kung Fu. That 
that was a close one. You can say that. Yeah. That was. <laughs> that was a close one. Uh, no, no, it, it wasn't. wasn't. They, they got, got her, but they, they didn't, didn't get me, me so, so it was close. All right, everyone, get behind me. What, what are you gonna do? Oh, 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 oh. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. But they fought with expert timing. They were going to check. Those three weeks in karate class would come in so handy. Physical combat not recommended for people with heart conditions who are taking blood pressure medication or if you're a bleeder. Which brings us to method seven. Reason with them. Reason with them. I thought they didn't have brains. Watch. What are we gonna do? Get a hold of yourself. I wasn't even doing anything. You were freaking out. Stop, Stop freaking out. I am okay, actually. Everyone just needs to keep calm! We, we need a plan. plan. Get a hold of yourself, Max! This is no time to panic! Wait, Sam, that's the wrong way! Sandra, you guys, I have an idea. Are you gonna use your body as a medium? No, that's gross. <laughs> Welcome, zombies! Brains? <laughs> yes, we are going to use our brains. Have a seat. Before you devour me, my friends, I want you to think about this. Will eating us make you happy? Will it fill the aching hole in your heart? You see, I know something about zombies. I spent most of my time in college studying them in literature. I know that you represent the materialistic culture of the modern world, the conspicuous consumption of resources by an ever-growing population, the desire for more and more and more more television programs, more instant gratification. We're all engaged in a deterministic and insatiable struggle to replace the arboreal pre-human universe with a mechanized post-labor society in which our needs are commodified into a wheel of gratification and release. Or as others might argue, you represent the ultimate otherness, the threat of non-being which originates from the fragility of our own constructed gender norms. I hadn't thought about it like that. Great. So you see, your desire to consume us is really our desire to consume everything. What? Well, how then? Can I escape the circular nature of my being? Brains? I think we need to confront and subvert the standard zombie paradigm. But how is that possible when I exist as a subversion of a standard paradigm already? In fact, I'd argue that you are a subversion of my paradigm. That you are my great white whale. I was you strive for, but never attained. Therefore, if I what are you, I'd cease to have a reason to exist. I think that's a very rational assessment of the situation. How then might we move forward? I think that we need to start an organic farm. Agreed. Question. Proceed. What's going on? We're using our brains. Brains? Oh, snap out of it! I must say, this has been a refreshing conversation. I'm glad that we could come to this accord. Absolutely. Uh. Wow. And that's the only scenario in which I can imagine an English major will come in handy. Make sure to befriend one today. Which brings us to method eight. Romance the zombies. Romance the zombies? This is not the ideal method. I mean, if you've exhausted the other seven, then go ahead, but otherwise I would advise against method eight. Again, method eight, not the best method. But let's just see this anyway. We're surrounded! Dang it! All right, I have a plan. First, we need to determine who the most attractive person here is. What? I'm plain. I'm hideous. I'm repulsive. What? It's agreed. You're obviously the perfect specimen of human beauty. And the rest of us are luckily to be mistaken for slugs. You're the perfect candidate to do it. To do what? Now is not the time for questions. 
Now is the time for listening to your friends and acting. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready to do what? Romance them. Oh. Hello. So, um, what brings you guys around here? <laughs> I hear that is nice. <laughs> you see, oh, oh, yeah, you're very funny. Touch him on the arm. Flip the hair rope. Widen your pupils. Emit pheromones. Flip what? the hair, Daniel. What are you doing? Flip the hair, we're gonna die. You seem strong. You must work out. Yeah. You're really funny, too. And you've got some muscles, too. You two should uh, totally wrestle. That's a little weird. Brains. Brains. time because I like to kiss a lot and then not talk about my feelings for a while. But maybe we could just watch video games and play and... <laughs> I'm surprised that works, seeing as how zombies are brainless, soulless killing machines. You don't need a brain to fall in love. So true. All right, time for Meta 9. Run really fast. <laughs> That's it? What? You, you just, just run, run away. away. Seems, Seems logical. logical. You can't do that. Fine. Method nine. Don't, Don't fall down when you run really fast. <laughs> Seriously? Don't fall down? That seems to be the key. What if you're tired? What if you're totally out of breath? What if you're just lazy? Then you become food for zombies. What do you want? I am looking for a way to survive the zombie apocalypse with a bare minimum amount of effort on my part. Fine. I have one more option. Method 10. Leave the planet. I'm tired of running. Come on, Christy. No, Sam. Sam, it's personal. There's no more running from the zombies. What does that mean? It means I didn't care when they took over the town and the school and ate the mayor and all of my friends. It peeved me slightly when they got to my parents and my own sister. But now, they've messed with my gerbil, Sir Muffin Stuff. And for that, I will have my revenge. Come on, zombies, I'm right here. Give me your best shot. Yeah! That was so dumb. Guys. We're next to a secret NASA base. Well, it wasn't that secret then. Okay, we're next to a not-so-secret NASA base housing the downed UFO that landed at Roswell. All we have to do is sneak into the top-secret facility, open the roof, learn how to use the alien controls, and then pilot it to an even more top-secret remote location, orbiting the Earth, Built by HBO Films, we're upcoming award-winning movie, Rocket Man, starring Jonathan Baker and Jack Sigafoos. Oh, that's never gonna work. Those are terrible actors. I know. I was a little skeptical of the project myself. But apparently... Can we just get in the base? Yeah, it's right here. place is amazing? I know! Isn't it cool? It looks kind of exactly like the place we were just at. Shut up! Now, now where, where is that, that spaceship? <gasps> there it is! It's... it's glorious! Well, well, dang it! So, uh, how do we fit inside? I cut you up into little tiny pieces and stuff you inside! Well, what do we do now? So, I found this bottle of hot sauce. Wait a minute. Guys, if we eat each other, we are no better than the bloodthirsty army of zombies that have ravaged the world. We're better than that. I mean, 
Jimmy, you're valuable to humanity because of your knowledge of pop culture references. I like Family Guy. And Sam, underneath your uh, pathetic exterior, I mean, I'm sure you know how to do something. And I'm a girl, so I say instead of resorting to cannibalism, let's resort to cannibal theism. All right, we're eating her first. No, hang on, hang on. There is one other way. Huddle. Eight generators. Huh? Help! I'm too pretty to die. Eat him first. He's Italian. Do I look Italian to you? Yeah. Then what was it told? Uh, leave the play. That's right. You heard me. There are no zombies. Are you telling me the government has been wasting taxpayer money on this? That's preposterous! That's what I'm telling you! Zombies are like vampires and werewolves and silver Irishmen! Figments of your imagination! So, you're saying we can just leave? Yes, we can just walk away. And we'll forget this whole thing happened. Okay, we'll back away. But if you narrate anything, anything, you're dead! Got it. And then the zombies ate them. Haha, <laughs> suckers! Never trust the narrators, we're like the media! And the moral of the story is, you are doomed. Make peace with your inevitable fate and accept that. No, 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 there is one more way, totally foolproof. What's that? Love. Love? That's right. If we all just love each other and believe in peace, Humanity will be just fine. And also destroy the scientists working on potential zombie-causing plagues. That, that's a given. Yeah. So if I was the last guy on Earth... I date the zombies. Just wondering. <laughs>